So today we're doing the report card uh, discussion, and I am doing it like in uh, um, every. Uh, I'm doing it in general. In general means everybody's listening to my comments, and the students have fully agreed that I could do it uh, in the presence of everybody. And the only thing that I will not do today is I will not declare or lay in the open like uh, your grades because I think you deserve some privacy. I'm gonna start with Muhammad. Okay, Muhammad, when you came to my class, I saw a positive person. I saw a person who is looking forward to something beneficial. And I like this, it gave me a, a great feeling to see a student who came to the class and really put his dedication, his commitment to what he's doing. And um, you really tried your best to be to be better, to, to be good at what you do. You, um, you tried to read, to understand and to focus. And I like that. Sometimes in our life, uh, me as a teacher, I value more people who cannot function very well, but they put their heart into what they're doing. And so because of this, I really appreciate you and respect you as a person and as a student. And so uh, my advice to you, uh, Muhammad, is, is that try to read and read and read using Google, okay? Go on Google and read some articles, some sentences um, that are geared towards not level five, but a little bit lower because it will give you, doing so will give you good foundation, okay? And you can also cut and paste using Google Translate and then press the microphone button and you will hear how the sentences or um, paragraphs are spoken in in English by a native speaker. Okay, so uh, continue what you're doing, Muhammad, because you're doing a great job. There was a time that you almost gave up, and I advised you that it was a little bit difficult for you because you're new in the class, and you came to my class when I was already teaching level five, six lessons. But in the next class, uh, moving forward, you will be able to adapt more, to function better, because I will be, uh, be, I'll be giving everybody foundation in English and checking your pronunciation, your grammar, and uh, improving uh, and increasing the level of your vocabulary. And hopefully, I, but I cannot do it myself, right? I can I cannot do it myself. You've got to help yourself also, okay? And if you continue listening, Muhammad, um, you will learn more when I speak to other students, okay? So congratulations for your hard work and, uh, and you are doing the right thing in Canada, okay? So, um, but just remember that learning English is not just hard work, it's, it's also responsibility. Responsibility means you've got to give respect to other people and not only to the teacher, but also to your classmates and to the time that your classmates uh, are spending in the classroom, are putting in the classroom, okay? <clears throat> and so, um, yes, any question, Muhammad? No questions, uh, but uh, thank you all. Uh, all thank, uh, oh, thank you. Okay, you're you're very welcome. Okay, and uh, yes. Okay, so I'm gonna go to the next. To the next. Uh, teacher Andrew, maybe about me because I um, must go now. Uh, okay. Uh, so yes, uh, all Olena. I, uh, I'm grateful that you try your best to continue, even it is difficult for you uh, because you're so busy uh, with, uh, with all the things that you do in, uh, in your um, time outside of the classroom. And I saw, uh, Olena, that 
you have improved in your communication. When I say communication, I'm talking about your oral communication, the way you read, you are clear, you have more drama when you speak. And when you, you always message me, you're highly professional. When you could not come to class, you always message me. And this I appreciate greatly. And so I, I wish you good luck. Continue what you're doing. You can continue in my class um, in the next term. And, um, and you, you know your situation, right? Uh, just communicate with me and I will keep you, right? And so uh, your English is clearer, your pronunciation is clearer, your grammar is better, you know, your confidence is better, you know, and um, I wish you could interact with the students more, but it's difficult because you're only online. But um, I, that's my suggestion to you. Um, and you are surrounded by people who do not speak English. They prefer to communicate with you in your native language. And so that slows down your progress. But overall, you're doing a great job. It's because of what they say, in every situation in life, there is always a learning. Uh, there is always learning in every situation. So um, thank you so much. I read your, your uh, letter of gratitude and, uh, and I thank you for that uh, honest, um communication with me okay so uh yes yeah yeah that that's it olena i'll i hope to see you i'll see you next week because wednesday there is no class and mm -hmm. friday maybe you can email me the, just email me the same um self introduction okay mm -hmm. so even you know i have it please email it to me so i have i can i can just download one by one so I can I can print it for you, uh, on uh, uh, for for Tuesday next week for you to to read. Okay, so yeah, yes, Olena, that's it. Any question, Olena? I haven't questions. Thank you very much, uh, Teacher Andrew. I am uh, very happy to have uh, English classes with you and uh, my classmates. Okay, you're very welcome. It's my pleasure. Okay, you you take care. Okay, yes. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Okay, I'm gonna continue with Orlando. Orlando, let me. Orlando, do you want me to read the professional comment on a report card? Mm, <laughs> I I send you, but uh, but uh, no, the professional comment on your report card that you will receive today. Okay, so Orlando, I increase your grade, but I'm not gonna tell you how much okay um thank you okay thank you so much for your um perfect almost perfect attendance in the class okay you tackle this is from the report card orlando you tackle new challenges with a positive attitude and you are always ready to learn you are able to communicate your ideas with your teacher and classmates with little difficulty at all times. You are generous and kind to everyone. Your enthusiasm is very inspiring. Your hard work is paying off. I am privileged to have you in my class. And my suggestions to you, read and research information on the internet in English. Listen to the radio or pod podcasts from a variety of areas to increase your vocabulary and comprehension. Write emails to ask for information. Speak with a service with service providers and people when you are out in the community. So, um, as I said, Orlando, your attendance has helped you progress better. And plus, although uh, there are times, Orlando, that you, that there are times that 
your English is not clear, but in general, you're able to communicate with everybody. And because of your great self-confidence, you're able to even joke about it. You have great sense of humor and everybody loves you. Um, Paddy, you make Paddy smile every time you speak. You make uh, Jose proud of you because you are both seniors. And this is very, very important. This is very, very important that you're able to open your heart and be comfortable with me as your teacher in the class. Continue what you are doing. I know that Jose is leaving and you are gonna be staying and you are staying because of your choice, you know? And so, um, and Jose has this um, um, special reason why he wanted to move to level six. And he explained this to me, okay? And so, Orlando, congratulations. You are doing a great job and I'm very, very happy that I could make you speak. And I'm very, very sure, Orlando, that when you take the bus to square one and you go shopping by yourself, you will be able to communicate your needs with the people at Walmart, at Guess, at Zara, at uh, Harry Rosen, <laughs> and many other uh, shops at Square One, okay? You can even go probably in person to ask for, to apply for a cell phone, okay? Or to buy a cell phone and, uh, or to apply for us uh, uh, for a cell phone service. So I am confident that you are confident to do this. Orlando, any question or reaction? Uh, thank you, teacher. I am very uh, grateful for you, for your compression, for uh, your uh, uh, advice. I am very grateful for, for to you. And uh, uh, I, I stayed uh, very happy in your class because uh, I understand you all your comments, and and I I I, I am I, I I was happy in all your classes, uh, Andrew. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thanks. Yeah, you're very welcome, Orlando. It's such a pleasure to have you in the class, and I am confident that whatever you do in the future, you will be able to manage. Okay, so I'm gonna continue with Jose. Jose has requested to be moved to level six, okay? So I'm gonna be talking to your teacher about you uh, before you start on Thursday and expect an email from her to connect to our to your new class. So Jose, these are what I said on your report card. You are a diligent and enthusiastic student with great sense of humor. You readily participate in small group discussions with confidence. Personality-wise, you are kind and generous. During online lessons, you always demonstrate dedication and, ha and hard work. You are able to follow reading instructions with ease at all times. You my suggestions, you can improve your pronunciation if you in, interact more with other nationalities. I suggest that you watch more television, go to the cinema and listen to the radio and imitate what you hear. Keep writing short sentences and then expand them to a short paragraph. Read ads, flyers, street signs to further improve your vocabulary and spelling. Uh, one, two, one, two, three. Okay, I, I, um, your grade is higher this time and you are eligible to go to, to level six. Okay, now on a personal note, on a personal note, um, Jose. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. On a personal note, Jose, one of the things that I like in you is you are so focused. When you are in the class, you are focused. There are time, there were times that Orlando did not understand, but you understood. You know, you know what I mean? 
And so you have progressed so quickly in, in the class. You have progressed so quickly in the class. And so your pronunciation is also better. And your, your biggest improvement, uh, Jose, is your comprehension. Comprehension means when I talk, you understand me. Okay, and that is because of your dedication and hard work. Like one of the, uh, another thing that you are very strong as a student is when I give a homework, you are always the first person to do and finish your homework. And that is a pure testament of you, of your responsibility and commitment. And this commitment does not only happen in Canada. It goes back to your past, how you were, how you did things in the past before you came to Canada. And so today in Canada, you still carry this responsibility, okay? Because it is a part of your blood. It is a part of your genetic to be responsible. And so congratulations, Jose. And I wish you good luck uh, in all your future endeavors. And I'm very sure that you will be admired and liked by your new teacher. Okay, so, but remember this will say, anytime you have some issues or situation or problem, you are welcome to communicate them with me and uh, like uh, on, uh, on Messenger, okay? When you leave, I need to remove you from the class, Messenger, uh, I mean, Facebook, but because you are a former member, you can still communicate with me because you are still there, okay? And so, uh, but you will not receive any more invitation, okay? Any question or say, or reaction, or do you have anything to say? I'm feeling good in your class. Uh, thank you for your happiness. I appreciate that you learn. And thank a lot, thank us, thanks a lot, teacher Andrew. Yeah, you're you're so welcome. I am. I told you many times, you know, about my compassion for for people from your country, right? And ah, so, um, big big trouble. Now. <laughs> yes, <laughs> and uh, yes, and so yeah, you are. Yeah, you're so welcome. Okay, so now, um, okay, let me. Continue with Andrew. Uh, sorry, uh, can you come uh, continue with me? I'm not very alert. <laughs> what do you mean? Paddy. You're not alert. Paddy, Paddy, Paddy. You've got to go. No, no. Okay, so uh, can can I because I already opened Edward, right? So uh, after Edward, I'll go to you. <clears throat> okay. So Edward, um, I'm going to, uh, Edward, because you, your grade Edward is A, okay? A means the grade that you received from the testing center will not be eligible for citizenship application, okay? And so uh, I, I do not, I did not give you a progress report. I, I'm giving you a conference report. Conference report is given to students who have not completed enough tests because they came to the class later, not from the beginning. And you started in the class, accord, uh, according to our record, you started in the class um, on May 21st, 2024. May 21st, 2024. Okay. So, uh, but I just want to like read what I wrote in your conference report. It says, I'm glad to see you adapt to the class very quickly. You are a highly confident and very intelligent, very diligent student. However, I do not have adequate ev evidence to assign you new benchmarks. This is due to the fact that you are new to my class. My suggestion to you is, that you review English sentence structures, collocations, and focus more on improving your writing skill, which is in turn 
will impact your speaking skill. So that's my, my advice to you. On a personal note, Edward, I just want to emphasize to you how happy I am to have you in the class. Um, I'm happy because I see you. You're a very positive person. There was a time that I said something. I don't want to say, say this uh, online, but there was a time, a time I said to you something about something and, and you took it in a positive way. I like it. I like it, you know. I like it, Edward. And um, and I like very much that, you know, your attendance is very strong. Your attendance is very strong means you were seldom absent. You were absent maybe two times during the time that you had to babysit. You had to take care of your nephew or niece, right? And you communicated this situation with me uh, professionally. Okay, so thank you for that. Continue what you're doing, Edward. I want to keep you in my class because I know that I am one of the best people, teachers, that can help you improve your, your English. Okay, and so um, one thing that you have to keep in mind is sometimes, Edward, when you read, you are not careful. Like for example, uh, for example, if the for just this is just an example, the word is um, participation, and then you will read a different word, um, and so be careful with this. Okay, so uh, be careful with your reading. You've got to focus on the spelling and everything um, in the class, and um, especially online, and uh, in person you're actually better in person than online because online you are not careful when you're reading, but in person, you know, when you can see me, it's like you are more confident, you know? Um, yeah. I don't want to joke about, about this thing because we are recording, but <laughs> I, I, I don't know why you're more confident in person. Okay, so, and you're a young man, you have all the chances to really progress and be better and to be closer to the Canadian accent if you work very hard, okay? So my advice to you is watch YouTube, go on Google, type something, go to Google Translate, type something, and if you don't know how to pronounce it, play the microphone. I mean, click on the microphone and it will give you the pronunciation. <laughs> And um, also, um, you, you know, try to, like, when you sit with Melika, because you're sitting with Melika, right? Talk to Melika in English. You, you know what I mean? Don't, don't be scared. Don't worry about Austin. Okay? So practice your English with Melika, with Paddy, you know. They are the strong students. Make friends with Freddie, you know. Say to Freddie, Freddie, let's go and... Uh, let's go to Tim Hortons. Uh, I'll, I'll get you coffee on me. Something like that, you know? And you can practice your English while you're walking and standing in line, okay? And so, uh, yeah, that's what I can, I, I can suggest to you. And, um, and do you have any question, uh, Edward? Yeah, I, I want to continue this class uh, because my job is part-time job, so... They must training me so I have time to continue the class. That's my question. Thank you for you. But are you happy to continue in my class? Yeah, I'm happy to do this, this class because the older teacher, older uh, classmate, I I know anybody. So hmm. I'm happy for yeah, yeah. Yeah, because you That's already know everybody, yeah. then you feel, feel more comfortable, right? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Thank you, Edward. So, yes, uh, you will definitely are able to, you are able to continue in my class. Definitely, absolutely, no question about it. Okay. So, I'm going to, like, let me just open this one and find... Um, 
find uh, Pat, Patty. Okay, Patty, uh, let me read to you first what I wrote on the report card. And I said, you actively engage in working carefully and conscientiously. You pay careful attention to details at all times. However, I do not have adequate evidence to assign you new benchmarks. This is mainly because you are a new student and don't have enough tests or attendance in the class. My suggestion to you is or are practice English by going to the mall. Go to the mall by yourself. Listen to the, uh, listen to the radio and watch movies on YouTube. How, uh, uh, YouTube, television, or in public cinemas. Surround yourself with English speakers whenever you can to improve your oral communication skills. Write journals on a regular basis to better enrich your writing. When I said to you, write journals on a regular basis to better uh, improve your, your writing, it, journals are like, like, like a diary. You know, like a diary. Yeah, just go to Dalarama, buy a small notebook, and then write, for example, okay, for example, today. You put there, mm -hmm. uh, put the date, like, for example, you say, um, Paddy or Paddy Day, and then put there, uh, Monday, July 29. Okay, Monday, July 29. And then write your feelings. For example, you say, um, Andrew spoke to me about my progress in the class, and I was very happy. Um, in the class today, I saw Muhammad, you know, and, you know, like write the name so the people will remember. And I, you know, like write your feelings. And then tomorrow you say, you said number, for example, for tomorrow you say July 30th, 2024. When you wake up in the morning, you say, oh my God, it's raining today. I feel bad because I really wanted to go on a picnic and see the other students from a different, from from other classes, and but I am bringing some kebab to the class <laughs> today <laughs> and share it with the students. I hope to have a, a good party in the class. You know, like you know, if you do this, not only uh, Patty but everybody, if you do this every day. You will wake up in the morning after three months. Your writing is so good. You feel more comfortable. Remember, if you are right, if your writing is so good, it will transfer to speaking. So if your speaking and writing are good, it will transfer to your uh, studying citizenship or studying uh, G1 or G2 license. It will all transfer. And when you get a job in the future, you will feel more comfortable communicating your ideas and needs to the boss and uh, to uh, with your coworkers, okay? So it will always come together and become a part of your communication skills. So you have a big responsibility really, Patty, to, to help yourself. And I think you are helping yourself because I see you, the first time you came to my class, you were a little bit like, pardon, 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 but now you are, so good you're you're even um helping rabia sometimes and also rabia is doing well right and and uh, and th and i am happy that you made friends with rabia because it also makes her feel important you know what i mean like yeah, you know yeah. when people want to make friends with you in the classroom it makes you feel good you know yeah. but if nobody wants to make friends with you maybe because of your personality like deep inside, deep down, you don't feel so good, right? And uh, although you can say, I don't care what people think, but you know, no man is an island. It means you cannot live alone. You need to surround yourself with people and, uh, and, um, and make these people a part of your um, growing up in Canada, a, a part of your growing in Canada, not growing up. Okay, so Patty, any question, Patty? No question, but I want to say um, appreciate of you. 
because um, you know then uh, I came here um, I didn't have any good sense in Canada and after that I mm, came to your class you accepted me very warmly thank you uh, <laughs> Andrew and uh, you gave me a lot of compliments and now I uh, think um, you increased my uh, self-confidence thank mm -hmm. you a lot for everything yes and you, you know what we teachers uh, in our education as a teacher we were taught in university to focus on the strengths of the students. And if you have weaknesses, we have to make suggestions, not put you down, you know what I mean? And so I am a professional, highly educated teacher. And um, and before I came to Canada, I had, <laughs> look at this Freddy. Freddy is expecting me to say something, but I'm not gonna say it. Um, <laughs> and so I am like really, I'm a true teacher, right? And I am not just, I'm a true teacher. I can, I just want to speak for myself, okay? And um, I know the importance of telling the students the truth, but in a way that will empower them, not in a way that people will feel bad why the teacher said it, you know? And so, yes, Patty, everything that I said to you about you about the way I interacted with you, the way I told you, you're very good, your English is clear, everything I never lied to you. I said them from based on what I see, the reality. You are an indeed uh, excellent uh, speaker. And when I say excellent, I'm not uh, saying perfect because there is no perfection. Only God is perfect. Yeah, you know what I mean? Even me, I'm still growing, right? So yeah, Patty, you're so welcome. And I am happy and I'm looking forward to continue serving you in the next class. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, yeah you're welcome. <laughs> okay. So now let, um, let me go to Osden. Yes, uh, Mohammed. Can I go to now, please? Yeah, sure. Yes. Okay, take Thank care. You. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Okay. Okay, you're welcome. Okay, Austin, I'm going to continue with you. Um, Austin, Austin, let me just open this. Austin, first of all, I will read to you what I wrote on your uh, report card. Now, Austin, because you are generally focused on the lessons while the teacher is teaching, your listening and speaking skills have greatly improved. You are able to convey your ideas with some hesitation, but very often you succeed in convey, conveying the message that you're trying to express. You are a highly dedicated and confident student and are always kind to everyone. And so my suggestion to you, Austin, is try to stay focused at all times to further improve your pronunciation and word fluency, mingle with Canadian people in the workplace and use the social media only in English. Use Google to improve your grammar and choice of vocabulary. I know that you are not working, but I said workplace, but you know what I mean here in general, maybe in the classroom or maybe with your neighbors, you know, that's what I meant. Okay, so um, I increased your grade um, in, in the class, but and you will receive this report card um, before the end of the day today. So I said in the beginning, you are generally focused on the lessons. Okay, let me explain this to you. Okay, so um, Austin, when I'm teaching, I really see you. You are so focused. You know, you're looking at me like this and your face is so relaxed, you know, your face is so relaxed. And, and then sometimes you understand better than other students, okay? In general, you understand me very well, okay? It is very seldom that I, that, that you did not understand. This is rare in, in the class. And so I really, 
like you very, very much. And, um, and you are doing a great job. You know, um, you, I think one of the reasons why you are doing a great job in my class is because you love my class. Number two, you feel comfortable with all the students. Everybody likes you. Okay. Number three, you like the lessons. Number four, you love your teacher. <laughs> Number five, of course. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> Number five, you have the support of Melika. I, I feel this, right? Uh, Melika listens to you with no judgment, you know? And she just, she just smiles at you, you know, all the time and also proud of you. All of this, when you put them together, it makes you a better learner, a more confident student, and also a more effective um, student in my class. Okay, so congratulations, Austin. I will be very happy to continue teaching you in the new class. Okay, do you have any question or reaction? No question. No question. Uh, thank you for your idea because your idea is very important for me. Uh, my problem uh, is a dictionary problem, uh, and uh, I, I don't really remember. Uh, I, all the time I forget uh, the words. Uh, but uh, uh, next uh, semester, I think it may be very well. Thank you uh, you're better, for your right? help. Yes. Yeah, you're actually doing a great job, you know? You're doing a great job. Okay. So just continue what you're doing, like being on time, being cool, being relaxed, being friendly and polite with everybody, to everybody, then, you know, you, you're doing a great job, okay? Uh, considering that, um, I cannot really talk about the age, uh, considering that you are a mature human being. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, yes. Okay, so I'm gonna go. Um, I'm gonna go to Cole first. So uh, because I want uh, Cole, uh, Cole, I'm gonna talk to you first, and after uh, I talk to you, yeah. after I talk to you, Cole, you you, you can uh, you you have the option to go or stay. Okay, because I know that your time is different. And I want you to rest. Stay. Okay. You will stay. Okay. Uh, no. What I mean is, yes. uh, if uh, if you want to continue listening to everything. Okay. It's up yes. To okay. So in that case, yes. if you if you if you want to continue listening, then I'll go to Freddie because Freddie is next in line. Okay. So let me read what I wrote here about Freddie. Okay, Freddie, this is what I wrote on your um, report card. Okay, you are a very diligent and enthusiastic student with great perspectives on life. You participate in small group discussions with confidence and without hesitation. You have strong oral communication skills. You follow online instructions quite well and have demonstrated hard work and dedication all throughout this term. Keep shining because you are a star. Uh, my suggestion to you, Freddie, is you keep working on your writing by consistent, by constantly writing short sentences and copying new words from the newspaper or store flyers or store flyer, flyers. Write journals about your daily routines, like the same thing as I said to Patty, and watch more television to further improve your listening comprehension and pronunciation. You're actually very good. Um, you're actually, you're, you actually have good ears, you know, in, in English. And pay extra attention to what people are saying and imitate the words and expressions they are using. I wrote all of these about you, but I know 
uh, that during this uh, last three weeks, I observed that you're actually doing already what you're supposed to be doing. That's why you're a better communicator today and your comprehension is impeccably good. Okay, so on a personal note, um, okay, uh, what are you, Freddie? I, I increased your grade. Um, well, right? I gave you a better, uh, I, I increased your grade because I just felt that when you came, when you were sent to my class, uh, like they they did not make a mistake in giving you the grades that you received. I think because like when you, okay, let me explain this everybody. Um, when the testing center gives you a test, sometimes because you are not normally, not sometimes, you are new in Canada. When you're new in Canada, your ears have not adjusted to the Canadian English. And so very often or very likely you do not understand how people in Canada speak. And then when you come to my class, you carry this grade that you got from the testing center. Now, remember, this grade was based on your performance during your test with the testing center, with the assessment center. But when you come to my class, like gradually, for some people it's gradual, but for some people, it's quick. You are able to adjust your ear and your confidence because the teacher is so friendly. So you become very confident and you become, you, you, you're able to adjust your listening. And because of this, this um, good listening skill transfer to your good speaking. That's why in just two or three weeks or one month, the teacher realizes that you are not the level that you were assigned by the assessment center. And so that is what happened to you, Freddie. One of the reasons why you become, like you were assigned this grade, but when you come to my class, you're actually, this grade was correct. But after three weeks, you have gone up so quickly. Why? Because your ears and your self-confidence have improved. You've gained back your self-confidence and your ears. And okay, that is one of the main reasons. And probably the second reason is because when I teach you in the class, my speaking and pronunciation is so clear. It's crystal clear, like a, like a clean glass. Okay, it's crystal clear, and and I really pronounce words very very carefully when I communicate with the students, and then plus you see something in my class, you hear something in my class, and you're able to connect this from uh, with the people outside. Okay, and so uh, you become better in English, and I'm talking in general, not only uh, only Freddie. So. Um, so the testing center did not make a mistake. The testing center did a good job in giving you that grade because that was your performance. That was your grade during the performance, or your, be, be, uh, during the, the assessment. That when you came to my class, you were able to showcase yourself better because of the confidence I gave you. Okay, so I hope that you will acknowledge that and validate, validate it, because that is the truth. Okay, and so um, in terms of your relationship with the students, uh, Freddie, I like it very much how friendly you are with everybody. It doesn't matter if they what nationality they are, you really give your heart in helping them, especially the people who speak your language. Okay, so I see that, right? I saw how you um, support Kirill. I saw how you support Kirill. Um, and, and I never saw you, I, I've never seen you, um, you, you're always like thinking of what you can do for 
Libab, for Tatiana, for Oksana, for the people who speak your language, right? And I like it very much. And you know, and and sometimes you help uh, Melika and then Austin, even if it is not your language. And you always conduct yourself respectful in the class. You know, you don't fight, you know, because I had students in the past, past who fight, who fought, right? But you, you, you don't fight, you just like appreciate. And you are not like this. Oh, I'm the best. You're not like this. You always humble yourself. So if you continue doing this, Freddie, I have no doubt that you will become very highly successful in Canada and you can even hold a high position in Canada. Because in Canada, it's not always your ability to speak. It's also your the way you communicate with people. If you communicate with people with respect and uh, with in a caring way. Okay. Do you have any question, uh, uh, Freddie? And uh, and uh, uh, or, or reaction or something? So first of all, everything happens for a reason. And uh, yes, I wanna. <clears throat> I want to say to you, thank you. I am very grateful to you because I am improved because of you. So, and you know, there will be more to come. So, and I and I I, I like you. You you improve. I uh, improve. You know. Um. I don't know if Austin and uh, Melika because they observe you. I see them. Like, <laughs> I don't know if you improve. Uh, if, uh, I don't know if you know that in my class, you improve not only English, you improve even your personality. I see this, right? Uh, there was a time like uh, when we were, there was a time when we were in the restaurant, right? And you said something to me and I brought it to your attention. And, and right away, you change yourself. And that's one of the reasons why you are close to my heart is because you respect me a lot. You know, um, you did not use our friendship to, to make your life easy. You know, you, you respect me a lot and that's, I appreciate very much. So I can never, never discredit your, what you're doing. Okay. You're doing a great job. Um, and uh, and I thank you. Just continue being respectful to to other students. Continue because you are doing a great job, and you look better when you are respectful. You know what I mean. And you are beautiful in the inside. You know what I mean. And uh, and continue helping, especially Kirill. You know and. Uh, but uh, you you know that uh, he has to gain my help. Yes, and yeah, yes. Just continue to be humble. Okay. <laughs> he has to gain my help, cause um... yeah, because we are recording, right? <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now. <laughs> okay. So. Um, Call. I'm gonna. Okay, call. I, I'm gonna continue with call. Okay, let me see. Uh, okay, call, call, call. Hi, teacher. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I am opening your report card. Okay, call because you do not come in person. I am not able to give you a certificate. Okay, but please. Um, Okay, please be advised that I won't be able to progress you at this time as I don't have sufficient evidence to update your benchmarks. This is mainly because you are unable to attend classes in person temporarily and don't have enough tests to show your progress. Use Google, my suggestion is to use Google to improve your reading skills and grammar. <clears throat> Participate more during online classes to improve your oral communication skills your grade will remain the same because um you're unable to attend uh full time okay so uh so let me close this but i just want to let you know call 
that your grade is P, not A, means in the future, when you apply for Canadian citizenship, let me know and I will give you a certificate, okay? So <clears throat> now, um, and you're eligible, right? So one of the things called that, one of the things called that I observe in you is your English is getting clearer and clearer and clearer. And you speak with drama, you know what I mean? And so one of the reasons why you're able to do it is because you understand what I want, okay? Actually, this, this skill that you have started when you were in my class in person. I saw you, how focused you were, and how, how, how much hard work you put into everything that you do, okay? And so I congratulate you. And I know that you're, if you're attending uh, in person and in online, you you would have doubled your ability, your skill, right? But because of your circumstances in life, because of your uh, situation, because of your priorities, I'm just thankful and grateful that you're attending the class, okay? Because in that way, I can still help you. Okay, so call, um, as I said, call, um, when you have free time, you know, uh, when you have nothing to do, just go on YouTube and try to listen to, try to watch our old lessons or just, uh, you know, um, study English on YouTube. Yeah, just to improve, just to help yourself. Okay, so that's my 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 uh, my main advice uh, advice to you. Okay, so uh, Cole, call, do you have any question or suggestion or feedback? Uh, thank you, Andrew. I very much like your class. You are um good teacher for me. Uh, I learn more English in your class i want to stay in your class yes yes learn. continue thank learning. you thank you very much. yes continue yes uh, you're, you're welcome you're welcome call you know i just want to support you because you've always been polite to me right you're all been you're always been you've always been polite and respectful to me um and um and uh, and because of this, as I said to all of the st students, right? If you show me that you respect me, you care about me, I will always support you. You know what I mean? And even if in Thanks. the future you leave the class and then after one year you come back and you just walk into my classroom, I can just like go to the office and say, I have one space. I have a student, I have a returning student. Yeah, you know what I mean? You don't need to email or 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 um or go to the secretary, to the admin. You can just come to me. Like and this is for everybody, okay? Remember everybody, uh respecting people in Canada will let you will will make make you win in the future. Okay? So but if you show the teacher that you just disappeared with no message and the teacher is like, where is where is Freddy? Where is Patty? You know what I mean? And so, and then suddenly after one year, you return. You know, it's a different situation. Okay, Cole, thank you so much. Yes, I will keep you. Okay, okay. okay next, Melika. Okay, Melika, let me open your... Okay, Malika, this is what I wrote on your report card. You tackle new challenges seriously, eagerly, positively, and enthusiastically. You attend class each day with a smile and always ready to learn. You're able to communicate with a teacher and your classmates successfully at all times. You are very attentive while the teacher is teaching. 
your speaking has improved a lot and your writing is better organized. Kudos to you, Melika. My suggestion to you, Melika, is to improve further, to further improve your listening skills, try to watch TV and movies as often as you can. I recommend that you go that you go window shopping to improve your speaking skills and self-confidence. Try to interact more with your classmates in person during coffee break and before the class. Your grades has your grades have gone up, okay? And you will see when you receive your report card that you are actually one of the of the strongest student in the class, okay? So, Melika, on a personal note, I just wanna let you know that I'm very happy to continue teaching you. One of the reasons is that you are highly professional. You come to school on a regular basis and, and you come to school, you are a positive person. You always wear a smile on your face and you're very positive. You're very nice to everybody. You are well-dressed, you know, <laughs> you are well-dressed when you come to the class, you are focused, you know, you're sitting like that and you're looking at the board like this. When I'm writing on the board, you are so focused and then you take notes, you're highly professional. And because of this, Melika, you are better today. It's not only because of my hard work that you are better, it's also because of your hard work that you are better, okay? And so continue what you're doing, Melika. And uh, and then um, work harder on your like online homework, you know, instead of saying, thank you, Andrew, you know, say something more. <laughs> and and uh, yeah, just show me that even it is a Friday, you are still, you know, you know your responsibility. Okay, so congratulations, Melika. You are, I see that uh, you and Austin, you have a good relationship. You have a good, re respectful relationship. And uh, Austin in the class is actually protecting you as well, you know, in, in, uh, in some ways, okay? And uh, so yeah, congratulations. It is a joy and privilege to have you, my Turkish students. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yes, I'm gonna go to any question, Amelika, or see you want to say something. Uh, thank you for everything, uh, my teacher, uh, Mr. Taylor. Uh, it was a good uh, semester uh, for me uh, because you created a friendship among uh, your uh, classmates. Uh, you gave lesson. Uh, not only in English, but uh, also about life, mm. uh, the life. Uh, you are an experienced teacher. Uh, but uh, I am not uh, good enough to get to level six. Uh, I want to continue in this class. Thank you. Yeah, you're very welcome, Melika. It is it's gonna be my pleasure to have you in my class in the next term. Okay, so congratulations. Just continue to be friendly with everybody. Like uh, you have a chance here to have friends. Like Patty is a nice lady, you know, and uh, she's not very busy um, because uh, her husband is grown up. So he has, <laughs> he has, yeah, yeah. You know, call Patty, you know, go out. You know, go go to square one, shop together, and that way you can practice your English. Leave Austin in the house. You know what I mean? And yeah, take the bus. If you need bus tickets, I'll tell, I'll give you. <laughs> like for example, you say, "Oh, Andrew, I want to go. I want to go to square one with Patty on Saturday. Can I have two bus tickets? I'll give you." You know. <laughs> okay. So yeah, honestly, I, I'm not joking about this. Like try to call your friend, your your the students, you know, like for example, Annie, right? Annie, her English is very clear. Patty, her English is very clear. Okay. And so, and uh, 
uh, and yeah, call them, you know, and and uh, go go out with them, you know, and and you can practice your English if you are together, you know. Like and then go to Square One, just go window shopping, and then go to Starbucks or go to Tim Hortons at Square One, and then have coffee, sit down for one hour, you know, and then you can practice your English. And after that, hug and say goodbye, and then, um, and then. Um, give you, I mean, and, and then like, when, when you get home, you say, just text and say, got home safe. It was nice seeing you today. You know what I mean? I got home safe. It was nice to see you today. Okay. Um, yeah, something like that. And you can practice your texting, your writing, your spelling and also your communication skills, okay? So Annie, I'm gonna go to you, Annie. I'm gonna start with your um, report card. So Annie, you normally pay close attention to the lessons, which has helped you, which has helped your speaking and listening skills. Although there are moments when you struggle to articulate your ideas, you frequently succeed in getting your point across. You are a very committed, self-assured student who treats everyone with kindness. My suggestion is continue learning on your own, listen to or watch podcasts and YouTube video clips to further enrich your listening comprehension, choice of vocabulary, and knowledge of popular idioms. Read news articles online to improve your understanding of, of advanced new words, spelling, and grammar. Okay, I have increased your grade. Um, and and on a personal note, Annie, one of the things that I like in you, Annie, is in the beginning, Annie, I saw you, your grade was high, but you were not functioning so well in the class. And I said, why is this lady level five, but she, you know, like she's not, you know, things like that. And then I realized that the reason was you were because of your personal life, right? And then later you have recovered so quickly and you became, you, you demonstrated fluency in English. Like I saw you, you were fluent in English. You were speaking with beautiful pronunciation. You're, you, were, you, you, you spoke with beautiful intonation, music, drama. And I said, oh my God, look at this lady. And so, congratulations. You did a great job in my class, and I will continue helping you. And uh, I don't, okay, the only uh, personal suggestion I can give you is try to make friends with Lubav, you know, with Melika, with Patty, you know, and, uh, and uh, with, with Oksana, with Irina. You know, these people, you know, if you go out together, you will be able to improve your English, okay? And expose yourself to the natural, real Canadian uh, way of communication. So that's my advice to you. Overall, you're doing a great job. Your attendance is regular. And when you're absent, you send me a message, you know, and uh, the only advice that I can give you is, if it is not an emergency, you've got to let me know if you're leaving early, not, not just text me, right? And uh, because you could have said it to me in person, but you texted me instead. And so, um, yes, but overall, you are a highly professional student, you know? And you're a typical Latin lady, full of confidence, energy, smile, and, and love for other people. Congratulations. Do you have any question, suggestion, or um, feedback? 
Thank you, Anne, for the comment. Uh, thank you so much for my participation, but I need to thank you that share for me. Uh, I know uh, I need a uh, correct or a uh, situation. Uh, uh, for example, uh, I scared so much for speaking English. Um, but my goal in uh, I promise me so much to uh, have discipline and study so much. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. I'm very positive that you will become more fluent in English and more confident after this class. Okay. And then then when you move up to the next level, you will be you will shock the teachers, the teacher there, right? Because of your and you know, I, actually after my class, you have three choices where to go. Okay, and I can talk more about it uh, in a classroom. Um, and then which will really help you succeed in Canada you know, in terms of employment, okay? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, just a second, I think. Okay, so now I'm going to go to um, Libob. Libob, are you able to open your camera? Yes, Libob. Okay, uh, let me start with, with uh, Libob, 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 Lehenka. <laughs> okay, Libob, let me read to you what I wrote on your report card. And I just want to let you know, Libob, that I increase your grade. Okay? Um, okay. Remember, everybody, even if you are continuing in my class, I will normally increase your grade. Okay? Even if you are still in my class. So, Libob, you have progressed well through this term. You can comprehend information, take notes, and write details with ease. You can communicate well with your teacher and classmates in person. Your pronunciation and speech clarity have improved a lot. Keep shining. My suggestion is to continue to actively engage in the class. Work on your note-taking skills while listening and drawing inferences. What it means by this is while you're listening to the teacher, hold a pen and take note of something that I'm talking about or writing on the board. To further develop your vocabulary and better understand idiomatic expressions, watch YouTube video clips and listen to podcasts. They stay focused at all times. Okay, on a personal note, Libab, I hope you will um, understand what I'm gonna tell you. Libab, like, Two months ago, you I always gave you compliments about the way you spoke, the way you read, beautiful. <laughs> but something happened, Lubav. After, after that, like during this last month, you deteriorated a little bit. And I never had a chance to ask you, and I don't want you to tell me in, uh, uh, in the class right now, you can speak to me about it in person if you like. It's your choice, but don't tell me the, the reason right now. But I saw that you have deteriorated. You know deteriorated? Mm -hmm. Deteriorated means it's the opposite of improved. Okay? Mm -hmm. You have deteriorated. You know, you deteriorated in the month of June, July. Okay? And I don't know the reason why, and I never had a chance to discuss this with you, 
but I hope you're okay with your personal life. And I hope that there is a valid reason that this is happening. And I hope that you will continue working hard because two months ago, you were so good. Mm -hmm. I was saying, oh my God, this lady is gonna go to level six, okay? Mm -hmm. Because when you read conversations, your voice beautiful. It's like beautiful accent, you know what I mean? And, and I really admired you a lot during that time. And then suddenly you changed. So I hope that you will go back to that time when you were confident and unafraid to, to express your, your, your feelings, right? And so like, um, do it in the next class, continue doing it in the next class. Stay focused, stay uh, nice to everybody and then review your, your lessons carefully and then make sure that you are communicating with everybody, not only during the class, but also at break time, you know, try to talk to Annie and to Melika, you know, they have clear English. You can talk to, um, um, to uh, don't, okay, you can talk to Orlando. Orlando is always gracious and modest, you know, and uh, talk to Austin, you know, and make a conversation with the students. It will improve you, your English, uh, especially your oral communication. Okay. Okay. Um, also, if you're going to be absent, yeah, please message me. Okay, message me. Okay. So I don't need to ask Irina, where is Lubav? You know, or, or Tatiana, where is Lubav? You know, uh, if you message me, then, okay, then, okay, just a second. Okay, so as I said, you know, uh, just go back to that time when you receive a lot of compliments from me, okay? And so do you have any question or suggestion, uh, Lubo? No question, thank you. Thanks for helping me learn English. Thanks for your advice and thanks for your support. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. You're, you are very, very welcome. It is my pleasure to have you in the class. From the very beginning, when Roger told me about you and Tatiana, I watch you. <laughs> 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 yes, okay, so yes. Um, I'm gonna go to Irina. Irina, then, then, then Sarah, and then Sana and Oksana. And um, okay, so I'm gonna go to Irina right now. And you're lucky, Lubov, that Irina supports you all the time. You know, <laughs> okay. So let me just open Irina's uh, report card. Irina, I just want to let you know that I have increased your grades, and um, I I increase your grade. So your strengths, you can respond to social communication in familiar familiar contexts with confidence. You can produce effective statements, questions, and requests using familiar vocabulary. You are able to recognize standard words in a moderately complex passage. You can write simple sentences from dictation as well as write some compound sentences and simple paragraphs. My suggestion, Read and research information on the internet in English. Listen to the radio or podcasts from a variety of areas to increase your vocabulary and Write emails to ask for information. Huh? Speak with, serv with service providers and people when you're out in the community. So... As I said on a personal note, uh, Irina, one of the things that I like about you is that you're humble, you are modest, you are polite, you're highly professional, you work so hard, and you help other people. I like it, you know? 
you help other people. There were times that you needed to help Oksana and even Tatiana. And um, actually before Freddie came to, my, to our class, you were my biggest helper before Freddie, right? And so, and I really thank you for this, um, uh, Irina. You've always been so nice and you always say something positive about me, you know, not only with the students, but also with your husband. <laughs> <laughs> and this, you it is a pure testament how, how highly educated you are and how uh, respect and caring for the people of authority is important to you. And so I really want to thank you for this, okay? And please don't lose your confidence because there were times that you lost a little bit of your confidence, right? I observed you in the class. And there were times that you could not understand, especially you did not understand, especially when I was teaching the past perfect, mm -hmm. you know? <laughs> and the funny thing is, Freddie supported you with this. <laughs> Freddie agreed with you. And so I so, so I believe you. <laughs> and so, um, and also like who else agreed with you? Um, I think Oksana, <laughs> you know, so, but I, and I, so I trust your opinion, right? Because you, you were not alone. And so, and thank you for being sincere and honest, you know, and straightforward and direct that when you did not understand, you would tell me, teacher, I still don't understand it. You know, I like that, you know, because some students, they just keep quiet and they don't understand. They go home and they Google, you know what I mean? But you need a teacher to explain it to you, okay? Irina, do you have any, um, any uh, like I said to you, Irina, Irina, you live in Mississauga or Brampton? Mississauga. Yes. So, Irina, you know, uh, how many children do you have? Three or two? Three. Yes, you know, if you have the time, you know, try to communicate with Patty, you know? Communicate with Patty okay. and and like try to make friends with with students like Patty with Annie. The culture is completely different, but they will help you. Will help each other practice your English. Yes, yeah, that's my that's problem my because I don't have many friends and speak English. Yes, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know, like you know what you can do. Well, like tomorrow when you come to class, grab Annie or Annie's and or Patty's. Uh, telephone number and then one day when you have nothing to do just call them and say hi patty this is arena oh my god look out look outside it's raining and then patty will be very happy say yeah i hate rain but my husband is a farmer he loves it <laughs> <laughs> and then you know you you can practice your english you know yes i know it's my problem because and then, you know, my and then, friends speak arabic or uh, uh, russian and then, and then Paddy will say to you, um, Irina, did you see the new student today? He's very handsome. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then Irina, you say, yes, I saw, I saw him. He's good looking, but my husband is better. <laughs> <laughs> okay, forget it. Okay, so uh, you have anything to say, Irina? Thank you very much. I promise and... Um... Next uh, semester, I work hard because I would like to speak more English. Yeah. Yes. 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 Yeah. Thank you, Irina. You know, um, and everybody, I just want to let you know that we have six or seven students coming to our class. Mm -hmm. And these students, they're coming from level four. There's, these students do not speak like you. So if they are speaking in a level that is not yet your level, please be patient and supportive. It is very important because, you know, my job is to make sure that these new students go up in a level that you are. That's my job. So in the beginning, they will function in a level that is different from our class, but it is very important that we uh, you continue to support them by being friendly with them. How are you? What's your name? Oh, are you from? Are you, are you from? Uh, are you from Lebanon? Oh, I used to live in Lebanon. You know something like you know. And 
um, Irina, do not, if you see some Arab students, do not let them know that you can speak their language because they will speak to you in Arabic. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And, um, and Paddy, if, if we have a, an Afghan student or Iranian student in the class, pretend that you're, you are from um, Ukraine. <laughs> so so they will speak to you in English. <laughs> I'm kidding. Oh, wait, just, no, I'm kidding. Yeah. Just be honest. You know, okay. just be honest yeah. to everybody. <laughs> okay, thank you, Irina. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go you. to Sarah. Sarah, it's easy. Sarah. No. Uh, I'm gonna go to Sana. Oh, Sarah. Okay, I'm going to go to Sarah first. Sarah, I don't have many things to say to you uh, because you are a new student and you mm -hmm. have attended the class only three times. And so, mm -hmm. um, and so I did not even change your grade because I have no basis to change your grades. So you mm -hmm. will continue in my class. But my advice to you, Sarah, is if you have some situations... Like, because I know that sometimes you have to work. You've yeah. got to tell me this. You've got to talk to me, for example, tomorrow or on Thursday and tell me what is happening in your mm -hmm. life. Like, for ex you've got to explain to me this so I can better make a, a decision to support you okay. or, or keep you or whatever, right? So it is very important that you communicate with me you know, like, for example, you say to me, oh, Andrew, can I speak to you for five minutes after class? I want to tell you a little bit about my situation because I need your support. You know, then I can support you. Right. OK. So do you have any question or anything to say, Sarah? Uh, thank you so much. Uh, I'm very happy for this class. I like this class and I want to. Uh, Continue. Continue this class, yes. Yes. Do you have do have you spoken to Patty? Yes. Yes. Yeah. She's do you do you big understand big each other? Big. Yes. Parsi, yes. 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 We speak Parsi. <laughs> yeah, no, you know why I ask you this question, uh Sarah? Because one time I have an Afghan student. Yes. And he went to the second floor and he spoke with an, a, a Persian speaking social worker and mm -hmm. the social worker could not understand him very well because I think he spoke a language in Afghanistan that is Farsi, not Farsi. maybe it's Farsi. Pashto or something like that you know mm -hmm. so yeah because Iranian people understand Farsi they do not understand Pashto is that correct yes Yes, and he could not speak Farsi because probably he was from a small town. And uh, so, yeah, I just, I just wanna. That's why, I, that's why I ask you if you have spoken to Patty uh, in uh, Persian language. Okay, I actually saw you. You were talking to each other, and you're so happy because Patty is so happy that she could speak her language with somebody. <laughs> yeah. Good. And I also, Irina, she's very good. She's helped me when I was at work. Oh, yeah. really good. Yes. Thank you so much, Irina. Mm. Yeah, Irina is nice. Yeah. Irina was a paramedic, you know, back yeah. home. Okay. So uh, let me talk to Sana or Oksana, whoever opens the microphone for uh, the camera first. I'm here. Okay, Sana. Oksana. Sana. Okay, let okay, uh, Oksana, you're the last one. Okay, Sana. Okay, let me see what I wrote about Sana here. Sa uh, Sana, Sana, Sana. I'm gonna read to you the report card. I actually changed Sana. Okay, Sana, you are very attentive at all times and very kind to your classmates. I see you're very nice to everybody. 
um, your oral communication skills have improved. Your writing is your biggest strengths. You did you did most of your homework diligently. Okay, so when you came to my class, your grade. Okay, well, uh, right now your grade is higher. Okay, and uh, my suggestion to you is you work on your pronunciation to communicate better with your classmates, teacher, and other people. It is a good idea to practice your grammar and spelling by writing journals on a regular basis and reading newspaper articles during your spare time at home. On a personal note, Sana, I noticed that you were sometimes absent. Yes. And uh, and normally, uh, sometimes you communicate with me, sometimes you don't. And um, I don't know the reason why sometimes do not come to class, but I hope that in the new class, you will work harder uh, with your learning, right? And so, um, so, 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 Sana, you've got to try your best to come to, to class every day, both online and in person, because you are slowly improving your English, okay? There was a time um, before you went on a vacation, you were actually better. And then when you returned, you forgot a little bit of your English, and then you, you gain it back after three weeks, and then, suddenly you are absent again. So be careful with this because yeah. when you're absent, you lose, okay? Mm -hmm. So Sana also, I like you to try to make friends with the other students, you know, mm -hmm. call Oksana. You know, hey, Oksana, let's go to, to do you want to go to Team Hortons today? You know, something like that, you know? Or at break time, go with Annie. No, but Annie has a kid, right? Uh, go mm -hmm. with... Um, with Patty, cross the street and buy coffee. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. well, well, you can practice your English while walking from the school to Tim Hortons and while standing and um, looking at the donuts and coffee, right? You can practice your English. So you've got to take advantage of every moment in order to improve your English. Sana, do you have any question or any suggestion or any feedback you want to say to me? Uh, I, I want to say thank you for you. I am comfortable uh, with you and uh, I am uh, happy because I want to continue uh, with you. I... Uh, I like your story. I like it. Uh, I am uh, understand and I notice uh, when I am uh, back to my home, I told with my children what I do in the class. Yes, uh, I am happy with you and uh, I promise uh, be uh, work hard the next time. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you so much. That's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Beautiful what you said. Yeah, you're welcome. And I'm gonna observe you, um, and, and I'm gonna observe you and Sarah, right? And, okay. uh, and I hope that you are really better. Okay. So okay. let me continue with Oksana. Oksana. Oksana, you had a big change, Oksana. Okay. So, um, Okay, Oksana, you are dedicated and kind to everyone. You always have a positive attitude and have made strides in your reading and writing. Your hard work and strong commitment to your studies will help you improve your four language skills going forward. So keep it up. Your pronunciation is clearer. And my suggestion to you, Oksana, is, I mean, R, study English and don't be afraid to make mistakes. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. Watch English movies and television shows and listen to podcasts or watch YouTube 
videos, search for websites that provide pronunciation practice, read in English and identify the main points of what you're, you've read, write emails and text messages to your friends in English to improve your grammar and spelling. So your grade has gone up, okay? Uh, I increase your grade, Oksana, and, um, and on a personal note, Oksana, personal note is, is um, Oksana, the first time you came to my class, I saw, I, I, I observed a lot of hesitancy with the way you spoke. You see, and you always said to me, pardon, pardon, pardon. You know, you always said this to me. But <laughs> during the last three months, I seldom heard you say pardon. Your understanding was way better. Your speaking was way clearer. Your, your pronunciation was way clearer. And I'll, maybe I should say is, okay? All of these, your speaking, your pronunciation, your understanding are way better today than the first time you came to the class. And so I'd like to sincerely congratulate you for your, I know that you work so hard and I know that there were times that you needed to take some days off because of some professional or personal situation. And I truly understand and support you, okay? So keep smiling. Every time you smile, you make everybody feel comfortable. And keep being positive. You're a positive person. You're highly professional, positive, nice to everybody, very polite. You never got angry with me, you know, and <laughs> you never like, uh, I, I never saw you like some fighting with some people. You know, you're a nice lady. You're highly professional. Obviously, you carry this professionalism from back home to Canada. Okay, I am confident that you will make it in this country. You will make it in this country. It means you will work, you, you will be successful. Okay, and try to, you know, get some college education if you can. And I'm very sure that you will make it in Canada. Okay. Any question or suggestion, Irina? Uh, I mean, uh, Oksana. Uh, no, um, thank you for your uh, job for me and uh, your support. <clears throat> and I, I will be happy to um, continue uh, uh, learning from you. Thank you very much. You are very, very welcome. You know, like you see, your English is so good. You know, by what you said right now, everything is like in place, like grammar, pronunciation, sentence. Ha! Good job. Okay. So now, uh, so thank you so much, everybody. Before I stop the recording, does anybody want to say something? Okay. So I'm going to stop the recording. And 